Editor Jabir Idrisa runs two newspapers in Dar es Salaam. Earlier this year, the government shut down one of the weeklies, the Mawiyo. That's after it published criticism of the outcome of elections on the semi-autonomous island of Zanzibar. It has been the cry by the government, even with Mawiyo, that uh, we are publishing seditious material. Hmm? Uh, in fact, we are among very few media outlets here which seriously deals with corruption. Idrisa says he was arrested and the government withheld advertising contracts to force the paper to shut down. The government says publications such as the Mawio are trying to restrict its power. This country has got uh, f about 50 million people. Suppose everyone is allowed to do whatever he wants. This country will be chaos, you see. So if, if there are people who are arrested, they're arrested because they, they, they violated some of the laws of the country. Some media outlets say they're being targeted for criticizing President John Mokufuli and the government. In September, a university lecturer was arrested for insulting President Mokufuli in a WhatsApp message. Insulting the president was made a criminal offence last year and those found guilty could face jail time or a heavy fine. So far, 10 people have been charged under this law. The government has banned all political rallies for the next four years. It says opposition parties should instead address their concerns in parliament. A recent survey says President Magufuli's plans to curb government spending and fight corruption have increased his popularity. The main opposition party, Chadema, says the president's anti-corruption drive is a smokescreen. He is attacking uh, the, the democracy writ large. The press is his enemy. Political parties are his enemy. The people are his enemy. Parliament is his enemy. It's one of the very first things he did upon coming to power what should to shut down live coverage of parliamentary proceedings. The government says turning off the TV coverage was to cut down on costs. Chadema has twice called off protest rallies against what it calls repressive laws. The party says it fears the government's response to opposition protests. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Dar es Salaam.